Good afternoon guys, I'm over here in Queen Creek, Arizona, and I have an uh, almost a world famous motorhome right here. And I have a 2017 Leisure Travel Van, and this is a world famous one from a big time YouTuber star, Andrew Steele, and he's selling it, and I'm doing the inspection on it. Uh, I won't walk you through the entire inspection, but we will do with a roof inspection, of course, because that's apparently what we do. Uh, and I do have a ladder set up here, because there's no inspection ladder on these. So this is on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis, but I don't know if you guys can see it. These are travel van. It makes a fiberglass shell like the normal van body would be. So I don't know, it's kind of like one of those weird things. That is to say, a Class B motorhome is supposed to just be a van conversion, so a unmodified van chassis. And it's not a modified chassis, but the body is modified. So I don't know if it's truly a Class B, what they call a Class B plus. But let's get on the roof and check a look, take a look at the roof. So I set my ladder up here. And again, because this is a fiberglass shell, that means the roof is not the same van body roof. So it's not a metal roof. This is actually phylon material, not unlike a Winnebago would have. Uh, but they do secure it down with molding underneath. A little bit of twisting there, but nothing vital. Leisure travel van probably builds the best conversion from what I can tell. So if we do look at the sealant here, it's cracked, but it's not awful. This is mostly just going to be a cosmetic issue right here. So I'm not too worried about that. This is going to be a, a self-leveling die core. But that's just a weird sort of cracking. You could reseal the whole thing, but there's no real reason to. And I think I see it everywhere on the on the roof here. So it's not cracking through. It's just the mottled surface on it. They don't even have a uh, lap sealant on the rear cap seam. So it must be sealed really nice over there. Satellite antenna has the same story to tell. I don't know if that's a screw. That would be loose. Nope, that was just sealant that was popping up. Same with over here, so. There's no hole there, there's no screw. Yep, no screw there, screws there. But this is a little bit disconcerting right here. That screw is loose and it popped up. So I would probably go ahead and recommend, so it looks like that one's popped up more than it should too, that we go ahead and tighten that. Might as well reseal this whole skylight on top with some lap sealant since we'll have to reseal right there anyways. Now on this 14 by 14 vent, it looks like they had a vent cover on here at one time. I don't know if the previous owner before Superstar Andrew Steele got off. But you can kind of see the mark in the sealant where it's pushing down in the sealant. Uh, other than that, it doesn't look bad. That means you can put one back on really easily. I would put one on. If we look at the sealant on the edge here, this feels like... A Proflex sealant and it's in good shape. And we do have the slide out topper or the slide out out. Topper looks good, intact. I don't see any issues there. So let's go ahead and uh, lean up against the AC, make sure it's not loose. I don't think it's going to be loose though. Come over to this side. Oh, ladder, you're very loud. Even on Leisure Travel Van, looks like we got some. Clear coat peeling. It has two solar panels on it. These are just ta uh, double sided tape down. They're not even screwed down, so you don't have to worry about screw holes on that. Go back over to this vent in the galley area. Same thing again. This vent cover has been removed. So I'd put one other one on. It's really nice to have a be able to open up your vent when it's raining for sure come up here this front cap is fiberglass I'm not seeing an issue with it it's really nice that was solid ah, that, it's really solid it's not even like flexing I bet I could walk on that lights look fine again let's see what's going on right here it looks like a what would have been a radio antenna is broke hmm 
Well, that's an unfortunate discovery. I only say unfortunate because I, I fear trying to find that radio antenna and getting it installed. But I'm sure I'll be able to locate it. I do like these skylight vents. I think they were pointed out in the video. I'll put a link to the video of uh, Andrew kind of selling his coach. They're great for ventilation and as a skylight. The sealant looks about the same as all the other sealants here. Just modeled. It's not cracked through. It's not loose. This TV antenna, like I said before, this TV antenna is loose. It's just a little spring clip that holds it down onto its mount right down there. And that looks good. Look over the side. All of the sealant looks good too. So that was a little bit more than I was expecting. But there you guys go. A 2017 Leisure Travel Van. We just did a roof inspection to see the condition of it. About the only real issues I see is going to be maybe tightening up those screws. That screw right there. Or put a different one in. We'll reseal the skylight at that point. Um... Uh, the radio antenna and the clear coats peeling but it's one of the easier roof inspections to do because it's not even 20 feet long i'll go ahead and take you guys through a quick walkthrough on the inside so you can see what it looks like in there but like i said there's a 2017 leisure travel van it's got a really cool floor plan if you haven't seen it all right so there you go it does have one slide out on it We'll try to get a good view of everything we can see. Start at the front right here. Captain's chairs are in really good shape. They can be swiveled around and used as additional seating in here. Now, this is a, one of the newer Mercedes chassis. I think I saw that there was a uh, camera up in there, so it might have lane departure at the very least. I don't know if it has adaptive cruise control or not. But I do really like the cab areas here. Now, on the floor itself, this is not tile. Appears to be just a rolled vinyl flooring. And the cabinets are going to be uh, laminate cabinets. You can see right here. But it is high quality. <laughs> Cabinet grade. We'll go ahead and skip the slide out for now because there's a lot going on in this slide out. But right here, you do have a TV. This is pretty nice because on this TV, uh, you release it right there. It'll pop up. Uh, it's a manual televator, so no motor to worry about braking, but it's kind of cool because in the down position It's kind of hard to see. This is glass. You can actually watch TV with it in the down position So you don't actually have to have it up if We go past there. We'll find the we'll find the van sized refrigerator It is a RV refrigerator as a van refrigerator runs off 110 propane or battery again batteries mostly for driving down the road. But above, we do have a convection of a microwave. And probably more storage, right? Yeah, slide out pantry. Across from the refrigerator, you have a countertop extension. Now this is full solid surface countertop. Yeah, so the Corian type countertop. I don't know if it's true Corian. Two burner propane stove. This is tempered glass, so it's actually good countertop space in the down position. And it does have the electric spark on it so you don't have to worry about having matches or lighter with you that's just a little garbage can right there one big galley sink and roller shades throughout and if we go past the galley area right there we're going to make our way into the bathroom the bathroom's got a really nice vanity with double-sided medicine cabinet this is your pretty decent sized closet space and probably the best feature is going to be the big shower that's on a van. Nice corner shower. Has backlights on it. I'm pretty confident we still have hot water there. And then next to the shower is going to be the gravity toilet. I forgot to show you guys. Sorry, Andrew. Let's go ahead and step in the shower. So, I don't know. It's a small step up. It's a little bit narrow. But there is ample space in here. Andrew is uh, a little bit taller than me, so yeah, got a lot of room in here. More importantly, ah, yeah, you're gonna have to duck out, down, on your way out. There's a pocket door that does close off the bathroom from the rest of the motorhome, but you guys might notice, you might notice there is no uh, bedroom on here. Now this is a van and in van life, you have to make certain accommodations for 
tiny living. They figured it out pretty well with the leisure travel van because we didn't take a look at this. This is the bedroom right here. This is also the dinette area. So you can put this up and you have a table. We'll point out that this is actually a power recliner. So it does have foot rest and it will go back. And then if you do that, it will swivel around and lock into that position and lock one more time. Now with both of them in that position, yeah, I know in van life you have to make concessions for size, but that would be a small dining table. But they do have this feature, check it out. This whole mirror comes down and it rests on that platform now. And now you have a decent sized dinette table. But that's not all that's right back here. Check this out. This out of the way, this cushion out of the way. Fold that down, put the table back down. The other one down. Now we just unlock this right there. We do even have a built-in handle. This whole thing will rotate down. And now you have a king-size bed. King-size bed still looks straight at the TV. But even above the king size bed, you have a window for outside with ventilation. And these guys, as your headboard, can pop up for leaning against on your back. So you just don't have to slouch over when you're sitting in the bed. Now there was some disagreement if this was a king size bed or a queen size bed. So I got a tape measure, let them measure it out. Now up to the headboard there, all the way down to here, we're looking about 76 inches. So even to the end of the mattress there, to the end of the bed, 67 inches. And from the other end of the bed to here, 67 inches. So this mattress is a perfect square, and then you would count the extra headboard area right there. I would call that a king size bed. It's definitely not a queen. While it may not be a true king size bed as far as 80 inches wide, uh, it is 67 inches wide, so it's definitely bigger than a queen size bed. That's a pretty good size bed for an RV, let alone a van. Bigger than a queen, smaller than a king. So it's this Murphy bed feature right here that's why this floor plan is so popular. You get quite a decent sized bedroom in a van, a full dedicated bathroom, and even a good sized galley. Now I won't deny that maybe tearing down and setting up the bed might be a little bit annoying each time. But that's not uncommon on most vans or even uh, small trailers. But these chairs right here are built really well. They're really wide. I didn't even show you this feature. You have armrests that come up. You wouldn't only really get in a high-end RV, let alone a Class B motorhome. And so this motorhome's really well built. There it was, guys. I would say it was a quick walkthrough, but thanks a lot for watching. Whew, gotta get back to work. Sorry guys, ran a little bit late there, got dark. Uh, I forgot to mention, don't forget to go check out Andrew's channel, RVing with Andrew Steele. Uh, he's a big uh, supporter of my channel and I really appreciate all the help he's given me. He definitely doesn't need my help, but I do appreciate his help. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and thanks a lot Andrew. Good luck on your new uh, Newell. <sighs> and uh, see what we find on this. And they figured it out pretty well with leisure tra with le they figured it out pretty well with leisure tra and they but my and also my apologies for everybody that uses metric I don't I don't know metric so these this is a really nice and so this is a really built and so